in the last episode uh, i talked about how to calculate a value score for companies in india uh, in this episode we'll take a very quick look at how to calculate a quality score a momentum score uh, and then move on to the more interesting bit which is how do you cal build portfolios using these factors there are three different approaches that you can use uh, we will look at that but before we proceed none of this is investment advice and any portfolios that we build here any scores that you see are not necessarily something that you should or invest in this is only uh task to understand how to do this stuff you have to do it on your own you have to figure out if it works for your risk profile etc this is not investment advice all right with that out of the way we'll look at the value score again very quickly because i made a mistake uh, in the last episode so if you remember we looked at the we calculated the rank for each uh, variable so we said price to earnings rank and then we used that to calculate the z score uh, but notice what's happened here uh, even though this company methane alloys has the lowest price to earnings it's ranked one but the z score turns out to be negative and that's because it actually has to be the other way around so you need a negative sign around if you use the ranks but to calculate the z score uh, so the, we've made the same mistake in all all the variables so what we can do quickly to fix that is when we calculate the average i'll just add a negative sign here it so you'll see methane alloys actually has a higher score rather than a lower score and you can just sort as well all right now having said that i'll show you how we can calculate a quality score so what i've done is i've already like last time i've already run a screen on screener and exported some variables for quality right now i'm going to use return on equity return on capital employed operating margin operating cash flow to ebitda which is essentially the ebitda to ocf conversion ratio and the debt to equity now here you can use any number of parameters that you want right anything that you think defines quality you could be gross margins it could be accruals etc etc there are lots of things there's lots of research around what variables make good inputs into a quality score we don't really uh, care right now these are reasonably good variables and again we do exactly the same thing we have a return on equity score we calculate rank we calculate a z score and then eventually we have a quality score which is the average of all the parameters and this time we've not made the mistake so the roe's z score itself has the negative sign when we calculate uh, the z score from the rank and so the score that you get here is just simply the average the next variable that we we'll look at is the momentum score the momentum score we calculate uh, very simply as what is known as 12 minus 1 momentum what that means is you take the one year return and then you subtract the return that you receive in the that you've got in the last one month and that's the uh, 12 minus 1 momentum this is the academic definition of momentum uh, people do more interesting things here you can look at 6 minus 1 momentum as well you can do a volatility adjustment etc again i don't want to get into the specifics of calculating a momentum score that's for another time but we have one here now right so we have a momentum score and in this case uh, it looks like ujas energy as the highest momentum score right now we we'll look at how you can combine these variables to build portfolios right that's where ultimately the rubber meets the road what you want to do is build portfolios given the momentum score so i have created this combined file where i have taken uh, the names of the companies and i have simply we looked up the value score the quality score and the momentum score i've removed all the underlying variables because now at this stage that's not important all we need is the score i have added filters so you can basically just sort these companies now if you're making a portfolio that is optimized for a single factor that's obviously very simple you simply sort by the score you go from the highest score to the lowest score and let's say you want to build a 20 stock portfolio and you select 20 names and, and that's your portfolio right and this is very simplistic there are many more things you could do get that get to that in some later episodes right now we're just looking at a simple way 
to build these portfolios. So if you pick these 20 names, this portfolio will have sort of the highest momentum score. Now to understand like how this portfolio behaves, etc. Like uh, as in, you know, it's a little bit of its characteristics. I've created a sheet where I can simply copy these names and paste them here. And it's simply doing a VLOOKUP for the value score, the quality score, and the momentum score for the companies that we have put. And this table here then measures the uh, median uh, of the value score for the companies in the portfolio, the median quality score, and the median momentum score. So uh, there is something wrong here in the first it's that. In this case, uh, excellent. Right. Median quality score. So obviously, since we've optimized for momentum, we've only picked the portfolio based on the momentum score. The momentum score for the portfolio, the median, is very high. But you'll notice that the value score is very bad. It's actually minus 1.9, and the quality score is close to zero. Now. What that means is that your portfolio is optimized for momentum, but then it's so-called negatively loaded on value, which means that it's an expensive portfolio and that's not a great thing. So what you want to do is you want to have something that is known as a multi-factor portfolio. So the question now is you've got these three different scores. Some companies will score very highly on momentum, but they may score badly on value or they may score well on quality, but score badly on momentum, etc. And what you want is a mix of all of these three and you want to build a portfolio that's sort of good on all of these things. There are three ways to do this. So one, the obvious thing that you might think of is to simply combine these three scores. And you combine, you come up with a combined score, which is simply, you can see here, it's the average of the value score, the quality score, and the momentum score. So I calculate a combined score for everything. What I can do now is I can sort by the combined score. And then let me pick a 20 stock portfolio from here. So I've sorted by combined score. I pick the top 20, copy it, these names here. And immediately you'll see that there is an improvement. So the momentum score went down a little from 1.6 to 1.2, but your value score shot up from a minus 1.3 to 1. And your quality score went from about 0 to 0 0.57. So this combined, when you combine all of these scores, the portfolio you get has good characteristics, broadly speaking, on all three parameters. For now, let me just copy these three values. And we'll do a comparison later. Um, let's just say this is the values quality score and the case of the combined score method. Now, another thing you can do is actually much more simple. So you can say, that and this will be a larger portfolio. Let's say you are willing to go to 45 names. Or you know what? Let's start there. So let's just look at for a 45 stock portfolio and you see why I'm doing 45. But so let's pick top 45 names on the combined score basis. That here. Get this formula. Like that. Right. You still see that pretty decent characteristics on all three parameters. Now, another method could be that you sort by value and you take 15 names that have the best value scores. Keep those in the portfolio. Then you sort by quality and then you pick the top 15 names by quality, you add that to the portfolio. Finally, you sort by momentum, pick the top 15 names by that. So you've got a 15, 45 stock portfolio again. But now, so this is the portfolio combination method. The portfolio combination method, the average scores you are getting are somewhat worse what you see is that your value score is now actually negative 
a median value score quality score is still decent in fact maybe a bit higher and your momentum score has dropped from 1.1 to 0.49 right so in this case it is essentially saying that you've got three different portfolios one is optimized for value one for quality and one for momentum and you've put just put all of them together to build a combined portfolio that's your 45 names and now finally what you can do and this might be uh, in some ways you are saying that i want the highest quality names that have a good momentum score and are cheap right that's a very different thing than saying that you have a combined score what i've done is i've calculated a value rank a quality rank and a momentum rank which is essentially just uh, ranking on these scores with the uh, most positive value score having rank 1 in the value rank etc right and now what we can do is we can say you want to filter so if you look at the total names we've got about 1000 names here and we can say you can change the thresholds but i am saying that i want only ranks that are less than or equal to 400 which means the top 400 names um this top 400 names by value so the 400 cheapest names then you filter for quality and you say again i want the 400 cheap uh, highest quality names again 400 and then finally also momentum i want the 400 or the 40 percentile 40th 40th percentile of the stocks with the highest momentum so i have added filters notice that effectively we have said that we want a certain amount of you know, value characteristics that a stock should have should have decent quality and should have decent momentum and that leaves me with about 68 names i could tighten this a little and i could say that instead of 400 i want only 350 what i'm trying to do is get to 45 names approximately 350 the top 350 names by value by quality and momentum the intersection right so all of those should you know all these three characteristics should be met these companies have are great on value great on momentum and great on quality if i copy this that here it is slightly more than that's 49 stocks stocks that's what you get this is when you get filter and filter and filter is what i like to call it so you've basically just filtered the list that you have for the highest value then within that you filter for quality and within that you filtered for momentum and this is the characteristics you get so one you can see that these three methods are very distinct because the portfolios that you get have very distinct characteristics right? um and the names that are there in the portfolio can also be very different the way you have it and uh, those are the three ways now you can play around a little for example the combined score that i calculated right now was just the average of all three what you could do is you could say that i want to give a greater weightage to uh, let's say value or the fact that the stock is cheap then what i can simply do is i want to take two into this and divide by four then i can get like this is a completely different ranking where i am prioritizing um filters here filters then reapply the score so two times value but only one weight to quality and one to momentum then we update that score then when we sort adjust to it's a very different set and here we are giving higher weightage to value and you can change this you can play around depending on how you want to um, you know prioritize what factors you want to prioritize similarly the filter and filter and filter you can say that as long as there is reasonable quality so then you can just say eliminate only half the universe on quality but then give me the maximum in momentum so all of those things you can play around with and you'll get different portfolios um, and yeah that's basically the three different ways that you can use factors to create portfolio next time we'll use uh, all of these factor scores to then assess uh, already existing portfolios for their scores etc that's next time um, have fun with this thanks